In order to wear the crown and move forward with leaps and bounds, it's very crucial for every CSIR net aspirant and gate aspirant to score good rank in the examination. So here I am to talk about how CSIR net and gate rank can build a strong career in your life. So for those who are preparing for CSIR net and gate examination, there is a starter kit separately for gate and CSIR net given in the description box below. Please check out, download and get benefited. With no more delay, let's get started to our video. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. There are hundreds and thousands of students who write the CSIR net and gate examination every year. In order to stand out of the crowd, it's really important that you have a good rank. So today I'm going to talk about the opportunities that are before you if you have scored good rank in both these examinations. So let's dive into the session. Let's talk about the first opportunity, which is going to be fellowship or stipend. So people who have cleared gate examination with a very good rank has an opportunity to pursue your PhD as a researcher in any of the CSIR laboratories in India. And how much is the stipend that's going to be? We are going to talk in detail about it. So in the initial years, you are going to work as junior research fellow. You are going to work as a junior research fellow with a stipend of rupees 31,000 per month along with a contingency grant of rupees 20,000 per annum. After two years of your JRF, you will be upgraded to SRF with a stipend of rupees 35,000 per month for the subsequent years. Yes, and this CSIR JRF gate, please don't get confused with this one. This JRF gate fellowship is actually given by CSIR. So it's gonna be CSIR JRF gate fellowship can be taken only in the CSIR laboratory. So you have an opportunity to pursue a PhD if you have cleared gate examination with a very good rank, almost gonna be 50 to 70 ranks, then you are eligible for this one. Okay, the next one, who can avail the CSIR JRF gate? Yes, BTEC in biotechnology or BE or BTEC in engineering, which can be in the form of science, so if you have 85 percentage of mark, percentile of your mark or with a very good rank, then you are eligible to apply for this fellowship, which will be granted by CSIR. Yes. Okay, the next one. So if you are a candidate who have cleared CSIR net with a very good rank, then you can also avail fellowship for every year. Yes. So JRF stipend for the first two years, it's going to be the same rupees 31,000 per month for the first two years with a contingency grant of rupees 20,000 per annum. For one year, you're gonna get rupees 20,000. And if the next three years, you are gonna be an SRF. So during that period, you are gonna get rupees 35,000 per month. This is also a very nice opportunity that is actually before you. Okay, next comes the most prestigious fellowship for the top rank holders in CSIR net examination. The fellowship is going to be SPM Dr. Shyama Prasad Mukherjee Fellowship. And this is available only to candidates who have secured top ranks in CSIR examinations. So there are going to be 30 candidates called for the interview. And 14 candidates are called to provide fellowship in the general category and top 8 candidates from OBC and top 5 candidates from SC and top 2 candidates from ST and top 1 candidate from person with disability category. This fellowship is only applicable to candidates who have very good ranks in CSAR examination. So please make sure that you stand out of the crowd. Okay, the next one, how much is the stipend going to be for this SPM fellowship? Yes, so previously we said JRF usually gets rupees 31,000 per month. But here, if you are going to avail this fellowship, you are going to get rupees 
36,000 per month with the contingency grant per annum, which is going to be more than the previous one. Rupees 30,000. And after two years of your research in the laboratory where you're working, then if you've been upgraded as an SRF, your fellowship amount is going to be rupees 42,000 for the next consecutive years with the same amount of contingency grant. And how much is the tenor period going to be? The minimum tenor period for this SPM fellowship is actually going to be five years. So this is one of the most prestigious fellowship that you are going to get if you are going to be a top rank holder in CSIR examination. Okay. The second opportunity that is for people who have good ranks in both CSIR net and gate examination. You can become a research assistant or project assistant or project associate one and project associate two in any of the research laboratory in India. Yes, the first research assistant or we can call it project assistant or we can call it project associate one. What is this? So if you are a ma master's degree holder with a valid gate or CSIR score along with a good rank, then you are eligible to go and work as a research assistant or project assistant or project associate one. What's the difference between a project associate two? Yes, this is very important. This is project associate two. Here they are going to be master's degree with a very good gate rank or CSIR rank. Along with that, you need to have two years of research experience. This is the main difference between a project associate one and a project associate two. So the second opportunity is after your fellowship, you can also become a research assistant or a project assistant or project associate one or project associate two. Yes. What's the next opportunity? The next opportunity is going to be research associate. This is actually applicable to candidate who have cleared CSIR examination with a good rank and gate with a good rank and they have completed their PhD and then going for the next opportunity. That is going to be and research associate. So GATE and CSIR net qualified candidate with a very good rank can avail this fellowship, very important line, after pursuing their PhD. This is after pursuing a PhD, then you can go in for this opportunity. So where you can become a research associate actually. So you can avail in any of the universities in India, in any of IITs or any of the postgraduate colleges or in any of the government research institution or any private and public sectors and CSIR laboratories in any of the R&D departments. So this is the third important opportunity that we are talking about which is going to be research associate position. Yes. How much is the fellowship for a person who can avail this one? Yes, it's going to be which is research associate after PhD. This is after PhD and you are going to have usually this is going to be the one but usually research associate will get a monthly stipend of rupees 47,000 so this is going to be the fixed amount along with the contingency grant of same which is going to be rupees 20,000 per annum for one year yes and a selected RA may be placed in higher stipend also more than this if there is a recommendation from the officials based on the research that they are actually carrying out. So this is the third opportunity that they have. The next one, very important opportunity for very specifically for gate candidates with a very good score or we can say very, with a very good rank, 50 to 70 ranks we can say. Yes, the next is going to be gate candidates. You have a very good opportunity to get admission in top institutes in our country, India. Yes, you can avail any of this uh, studies in any of the institutions like IITs, IACs and NITs. If you want to know about the list of IITs and NITs, you can look on to Biotechnica website. Yes. The next one. So you can pursue your MTech or you can pursue your ME or you can pursue a MS in any of the top institute in India. For example, if you want to study, you can say BTech and Biotechnology. In IIT, then you need to have 
a rank of 50 to 70. If you have a rank of 50 to 70, then it's very easy for you to enter into the top institute of the country in any of the IITs or IACs or we can say in any of the NITs. So this is the fourth opportunity that you have if you have a very good score and a good rank in gate examination. The next one, yes, apart from that, this is going to be for CSIR net LS. This is net LS examination. So here, the graduates who qualified LS examination with a very good rank, then you can start your career as an assistant professor or a lecturer in any of the college or any of the un universities in our country, India. So this is the fifth opportunity that you have if you have a very good rank in this exam. Okay, the sixth opportunity is preferences based on the rank you've been given preferences during your examination or during your interview. Yes. So during interview, you can see there are several factors which will be taken into consideration to recruit you as a researcher in their own laboratory. The first one, as everybody, the entry level would be based on your examination. If you qualify examination, then you can go in for the interview. So everybody used to have national level exam certificate. Then how you are going to perform in the interview? So if everybody are going to perform well, then what makes you stand out of the crowd? The third one is going to be the rank matters there. So if your performance is comparable to the fellow contestants, if they are also very equally good enough based on the examination certificate or based on the performance, then if your rank is a bit higher than them, then you will be recruited more than them. Yes. So the interviewing panel, what they will do, they choose to select the candidates with a better rank. So here comes the importance of rank. So rank plays a very important role. So whenever you prepare for it, it's make sure that you get very good rank in either gate or CSAR examination. So this is the sixth opportunity that you have. The seventh opportunity is going to be the job opportunity that you have. It can be in public sector and government sector, and it can also be in a private sector. So various public sector units are actually recruiting people who have qualified CSIR net with good ranks. This is very important, with a good rank. I told you the importance of ranks. You can see the list of public sector organization. What's this public sector means? It's going to be all the government organization which can be federal or which can be state or which can be any of the government organizations. These are the list of public sector organization you can see over here, which is going to be ISC. You can see uh, ISRO and then DRDO, everything, IARI. And these are the list of public sector organization which actually recruits candidates who have cleared CSAR net with very good rank. Okay, nowadays these PSU have started recruiting through the gate score along with a good rank. Yes, so this is the next opportunity that you have for you, which is going to be in public sector or we can say government sector. Okay, what are the positions that are actually available over here in a public sector as well as in a government sector? So these are going to be this one. We have already talked about SRF, we talked about JRF, Project Associate, Research Associate, and you can also become a scientist or a senior scientist research fellow and in any of these category, in any of the PSUs, which is listed over here. What's the next one? DRDO. Researcher at any of the government DRDO research lab. You can also become a researcher in any of the CSAR laboratories or you can also become a researcher in DRDO laboratory. These are lists of DRDO laboratories where you can work as a researcher after completing your CSAR net exam or gate with a very good rank. That's where the matter is. The next one is going to be private sector. Job opportunities in private sector. So if you are a very good a candidate with a very good rank in GATE or CSIR examination, then these are the private corporate firms which actually recruits. Novartis, Lupin, GSK, Dr. Reddy's Laboratory, Biocon, Thermo Fisher, and Serum Institute of India, or even Syngene. There are biopharmaceutical companies and pharmaceutical company which actually recruits candidates who have very good rank in GATE as well as in CSAR net examination. So this is going to be the seventh opportunity that you have. Yes. 
Candidates who qualify this exam has very uh, stable jobs with a very high packages. Yes. So additionally, nowadays even foreign companies started recruiting candidates who have very good ranks in gate examination. So this is yet another opportunity that is actually before you. The next one is going to be fly abroad for higher education or higher studies. So nowadays. Uh, foreign universities started welcoming Indian students who have very good gate score with a good rank. So these are some of the universities which is listed over here but there are yet another many many universities which actually welcomes Indian candidates or Indian students with a very good score in gate. You can see National University of Singapore which is a very popular one and this is also NTU which is in Singapore and Techno Technical University of Munich which is in Germany and then Aachen University which is in Germany. So at another universities are also available these are some of the list. So when you have a very gate, good gate score or good rank then you can enter into any of the top most institutes of the world. You can fly abroad and continue your higher studies. Okay the next one. What's the next advantage or the benefit that I have if I have very good gate score or gate rank or a CSIR examination? It adds up onto your resume. Yes, qualifying any of the national examination with top rank is something that will gleam up or gleam on your resume. It will actually gleam on your resume. So this is another opportunity that is actually before you. So we have talked about all the nine opportunities that is actually laid before you if you clear CSAR net examination along with uh, gate examination with a very good rank. The final note that I want to tell you if you have gate exam and CSAR examination with a very good rank there are doors which has millions of opportunities for you. So grab the opportunities I would say and break the hindrance and arise again. Today is the opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. So today is your opportunity while you're watching this video. It's an opportunity for you to think about it so that you can build the tomorrow you want it. So I'm going to end the session for today. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. Grab the opportunity, break the hindrance and then rise again. With this note, I'm going to end the session for today. Thank you all of you for joining. Yes, thank you.